Chef William. I'm back with you and I hope if because this is part two of the Toad and Hole. So if you haven't seen Toad and Hole Batter yet, then please pause this now and head over to that video. So um as I am doing Toad and Hole today, let me just go through the ingredients for the batter. You need 140 grams of self raising flour. Just to let you know, I've cooked everything and today I'm just going to be serving it with you. Okay, so you're going to see my presentation. I've got two lovely plates here ready to serve. So, um, one teaspoon salt, two eggs, 175 millilitres semi skim milk, and you also need eight sausages and one tablespoon of oil into the pan so first of all what i've done is i've made a lovely onion gravy so i've cut my sliced up my onions and put them that way into little bits put them into the gravy well first of all i put it into the pan uh put it in a nice heat um make them nice and golden and delicious and then i um added in my um gluten-free oxo cube and mixed it up and made the gravy and put in some hot water i've also got some um sweet corn and some green beans on my side and i also have the potato dough from where let's yesterday and the toad and hole in the oven so we're going to be serving so first of all i'm gonna stir my gravy and we're gonna try it i'm gonna taste it okay it's tasting time three we're just gonna try it okay look oh chef that's chef skill you wouldn't talk while i was doing it you're taking the flavours, check it up, and that is sensational. That gravy loves. So, when you're touring it, I've got a jug here, which I'm just going to dry out. So I'm just drying that and um, that's my jug ready to put my gravy in. You can all see that jug, right? Yeah. So I'm put that side. Oh, Chef William's still here, don't worry. Right, plate in. First of all, you turn down the temperature on your oven, off, and then you open it. Then there isn't as much steam, but you'll still have so much steam. So now I'm going to show you the toad in hole. So here it is. I have eight sausages in there, and underneath here in the oven is the potato dolphin. So I'm going to get those out of the oven and I'm going to turn everything off. So I cut the potato dolphin gar earlier for 10 minutes. Uh, let's go. And now that's out of the oven. So I've 
got those there all ready for me to work. I'm going to shut the oven up. And I'm going to turn it completely off. At the wall. And I'm going to drain my fledge. Your water, which you use for the fudge, will always be green. It will always be green, that water. Right, so first of all, I'm going to grab my tool. Um, First off, I'm going to go around the outside with my knife. So just by me going round there, I know I can I could feel by me pushing on it that it's nice and soft. So Whoa, so hot I have to turn this on and it isn't very good because I forgot to put my oil in. So it didn't stick, it stuck to the pan. So you can put as much on as you want. As I said, it depends on how many people you have you're having at your dinner party or whatever. Serve my potato dolphin well. So on the side there isn't really a certain presentation you can use for this one most of my dishes yeah they do have a really presentation
guys, bring it on. Lasagna tomorrow. So, there you go. A delicious Tobin and Hull served with leftover potato dolphin wire. That shows you can, you can use leftovers and um, some veg. So, thanks guys and see you tomorrow. Bye.